Oh, good morning, everyone. I think I'm live. <laughs> I have been having such a hard time uh, getting ready. For some reason, the link that I made and the stream was not working. And so I've had to change a whole bunch of times. I think I'm live now. I think. I don't even know where I am. Yes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I am so sorry. I hope everybody can find me because it's been kind of a crazy morning here. Good morning, Mary, again. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Dee. Um, <laughs> good morning, Anna and Tammy and Betty. Oh, my goodness. So when I set up my... Um, my Facebook Live, when I set a stream, I put I have to put a stream code in, and for some reason that was not working this morning. No matter how many times I tried it, it just would not take it. So I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on um, and why it didn't work, but I'm glad that some of you found me. Technology is great when it works, and then when it doesn't, it causes a lot of panic, and that's what I was in this morning was a lot of panic. So, and of course, today I have a lot of stuff to do, um, and so um, it's going to be a little bit crazy, but it's a rainy day here in Appleton, Wisconsin, and so there's nothing better to do than to sit and stamp, correct? Good morning, Patricia. I'm so glad you guys found me. I'm going to have to go back and re-add different links so that people can find me because holy cow, it was crazy here this morning. Let me start with some happy mail because that makes me happy. Look at this beautiful thank you card that I received from Betty. Betty's on here this morning. Thank you so much for this. And she also sent me a stamp set that she had a duplicate of. So I'll be using that as a prize sometime to give away to some lucky winner. I also received this thank you card from Barbara, and in it, um, she says, wish they would bring back this DSP. Isn't that the truth? Look at how beautiful those butterflies are. It's just so bright and cheery on a gloomy day like today. Um, glad it is working now. Can't wait to, okay, good. Glad, Sandy, it's working. Okay, and then I received this thank you card from Karen Wettstein. Um, beautiful with those two excuse me, two-tone floral. Just absolutely gorgeous cards, ladies. Thank you so much for that happy mail. Um, now let me get to prizes, and then I'll let you know what we're gonna do today. So last week we had a sneak peek of this um, new paper, um, along with the new stamp set with these dies that cut out these little labels. And so we had this little fun fold that we made. And then we did this wowza card, okay, that opened all this up. And you could either close it like that, or you could put these, tuck these in and close it like that. Did anybody try making this card? I know we did one in my stamp club, so those ladies got a chance to make one. I do have this here that I'm going to actually walk through again with you just to make sure that everything is right. I know, Marsha, I'm sorry you couldn't find me. I had so many technical difficulties this morning, so I'm starting late. So hopefully people can find me. I know it's kind of been Oh, crazy here this morning. Okay, so receiving these, oh goodness, for commenting is Julie Grassel. So Julie, if you could send me a private message with your address, I would be happy to get these off in the mail to you. I don't remember where you're from. I think you told me last week, um, but I didn't write it down. Then for sharing, so if you share on YouTube, or if you share in Facebook, either one is fine. You get entered into a drawing as well to win prizes. And so I have this ribbon combo pack, which is Old Olive and Sahara Sand, along with a um, brand new um, Wink of Stella. And this is going to be going to Melanie Foy. So Melanie, I do have your address, and I will be getting these off in the mail. A couple people had requested... Um, oh good, Amanda, you did make the fold when your kids were sleeping, I'm so, I guess. Um, uh, I did have a couple of requests for catalogs, so I do have three of them going out today for requests that I have. If anybody else needs a catalog, you didn't get a catalog yet, 
you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, please just send me a private message. If you put it in here, it might get lost. So it's better to send me a private message either in Facebook um, or um, you can also email me. It's just create with Sarah LLC at gmail.com. So um, feel free to send me an email and let me know if you need a catalog. Speaking of catalogs, I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera. I still can't open this, not until Tuesday. Um, Tuesday's when this goes live. And so we are going to be focusing on, look at this daisy set that's on the front cover here. That's what our focus is going to be today. We're going to make four cards and we're going to make a little envelope that you can put eight cards in. So I have the four cards that we're making today, I've already made. So that will be our eight total that we'll be tucking in a little, kind of like a little folder that we will decorate that you could give as an easy um, gift to somebody. I was kind of thinking Mother's Day, it's nice to take, if you have a lot of cards sitting around, they don't have to match. Ours are gonna all be from the same SAM set and from the same suite, but they don't have to match. It could be anything that you have that you pull. I know my mom loves sympathy and thinking of you, um, and so I tend to pull all of those types of cards from my mom. Okay, I wanted to show you this. So when you put the first piece down, I told you that it was the slanted. So right here, I don't wanna write on here, but we have, the slanted pieces are on the side here. I'm gonna lay the, that piece flat without it being folded, and that's when I fold in those little corners, okay? Then, once I have this attached, my hinge attached, then I'm gonna open it up completely, and that's when I'm gonna put in the doors. And when it's open, the doors have to be open, and so they have to go out rather than going in, so that when I close it, they go in. So that's kind of the way that as I was redoing it, I kind of remembered. So it's gonna lay flat when you fold and close, okay? And then it's going to be open, so it's gonna be folded when you put the doors on. All right, that, and I did throw some pictures in my video to try to help with that as well. So um, not in my video, I'm sorry, in that Google document, the link to um, all of the dimensions, it's in there with a whole bunch of pictures of each set. Okay, so this is the sweet, cheerful daisies. Isn't this cute? I love like, oops a daisy, so sorry. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Your friendship means everything. You made my day. And then these are the dies. So we've got some more detailed dies. I've got some of them out of here right now. Um, and then we have um, two step stamping so you can do the outline and then do the fill. Okay, so I'm glad some of you are finding me. It looks like, I'm sorry, we might have people jumping on here late because, oh my goodness, it was crazy this morning. All right, also in this suite of products are these adhesive backed solid gems. And in there we have the Lemon Lolly, the Boho Blue, and the copper clay are the colors of these. And those are colors that are in the DSP. So we are gonna be using these today. I also brought in um, some of the, whoops, just for a little bit of something different. Whoops, I got something attached there. Um, these are the um, in color dots. So these are really, really flat. And so you could, um, they come in all of the in colors. These are like the dots that we had in the um, old catalog that are carrying over that had like Daffodil Delight and um, Gorge, uh, Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, and I thought there was one more color, but maybe um, Pool Party or something. But these are like that. They're really, really nice and flat. Okay, and then the paper. So this is a little bit unique. I am going to make one card cutting out this piece right in here in the corner, but you can cut all of these pieces out. I'm gonna show you a card that I made using this piece, and I'm gonna show you a card that I made using um, this piece, and then one that uses this little piece right here. So you can cut those out and add them as part of cards. 
And then the front side, or one side, has all of these beautiful daisies in some very different colors. So we've got, this is the Moody Mauve and the Bubble Bath. And we've got some of the Copper Clay along with Cajun Craze and some of the um, Pretty Peacock. And we got some Lemon Lolly and Crushed Curry in there. We've got some Boho Blue along with the Copper Clay. And again, this has some Lemon Lolly and some Garden Green. And then when you flip these all over, we have kind of like a paintbrush look to some of the paper. And we're going to use some of this as well in our cards today. So beautiful, beautiful paper um, for us to use. I'm gonna set that aside. And I think I'm gonna start with, so again, we're gonna make four cards. I'm gonna start with our, um, I'm gonna pull, I think, all my stamps out. And I've got, everything's kind of all packaged together here today because <laughs> it's all in one bucket. All right, so I put all of the stamps on blocks. I cut this down to three and three quarters by five. It is four by five and a quarter, so I just kind of cut an even amount. Whoops, it looks like I've got a dimensional on here somehow. Um, so I just cut an even amount on either side, and I cut a little bit more off the bottom because there wasn't a lot of room to cut things off of the top. Um, this is some early espresso, and this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. All right, this is our wild wheat, which out of all of the colors I wasn't craziest about, but we're using it in two cards, believe it or not, today, because it is in this um, DSP. So this measures eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at two and one eighth from each side. Okay, by doing that, I was, um, I was able to make it into a gatefold, All right? And then I've got a four by five and a quarter that's going to go on the inside. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead. This is my super, super, oops, and I should have a label. Yep, I do. Good, goodness gracious. Okay, so here is our label, and this is a die from these dies. Okay, so from this set of dies. So let's go ahead and stamp that because that's the only stamping that we have. And for that, I decided I wanted to use a Thinking of You. This is new from the Wonderful Thoughts stamp set. And um, these have dies that will cut around these words just like that um, Charming Sentiments did in our last catalog. So these are... Um, these are really cool stamps as well. Okay, and I was going to put in, I'll listen to your, your silence when words are just too much. I was going to put that in there as well, but I forgot to, looks like I forgot to put it on a block because <laughs> I just thought that that was pretty, I think I thought, um, maybe the person would want to just wait and see if they needed the thinking of you for a get well and they could just write a message on the inside. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up and try to get this centered. Okay, pretty good. And it's a little bit off to the left, but that's okay. I can use like some sort of a little dot or something to try to um, <laughs> cover for that. All right, that's all we're gonna have for stamping. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this on the inside of my card so that it is ready to go. I'm gonna take all of these and I think I'm gonna stick them to my card that I already have made because <laughs> I still have to type all of this up. I made these on Thursday, um, but and then I made the envelope last night because I knew I had to, I had to play kind of step in as a mom <laughs> for my niece. My brother and sister-in-law are taking, um, they celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary um, kind of during when you really couldn't travel much with the pandemic. And so they are taking a little trip to um, Italy right now. And so, um, my niece has a volleyball tournament in Minnesota, and she had a track meet last night, 
And so they just needed somebody to pick her up from track and get her to the people that were going to drive her to Minnesota. So I just kind of went and watched her run track. Actually, she did um, triple jump last night. This is just going to go on here, and I'm just going to adhere it to the left side. Yeah, so I watched her run her or jump, and then we got all of her stuff to the parent that was going to be bringing them to Minnesota. And so that was at like 7.30 last night. I was um, dropping them off, and they were just going to be leaving for Minnesota, which is about four and a half to five hours sometimes, depending on what the traffic is like. All right, I wanted to, this is just gonna go here. This is a very, very simple card. The paper is doing all of the work on this. I wanted to take some of our linen thread and I'm just going to make a really big bow. I did this on another card that was in our card buffet and um, it worked really nice, so. Okay, so I'm just making a really big bow and I'm just gonna kind of tuck the knot behind so that those little loop do oh I got disconnected. It's just not a good technology day today for me, ladies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get reconnected here. Let's see if that works. There we are. We're connected. Now I gotta put it back in the holder. <laughs> Technology is not my friend today. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be figuring a few things out. So if you see me go live later today, schedule a live and then go live. Um, there we go, we're back, okay. Um, if you see me go live and um, I'm not really doing a, um, Class, it might be because I'm testing all of this out to figure out why. It worked so well the first two weeks that I did it, um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. So I may have to delete the YouTube stream that I have and create a new one is what I'm thinking. I might have messed something up when I created it this time. Okay, so this is just going to go back here like that. I'm going to trim these up a little bit. I still want them kind of long and then that's just going to go in there just to give it a little bit of um, kind of like stringy whatever I don't know how, how I want to des describe it but we're going to put this on some dimensionals put one in the middle Hi, Kay. I'm sorry if I missed you saying hello earlier. Thank you for all of you who said that you shared. I'm just kind of looking at the comments. Okay, so this is just going to go here like that. And look at how easy and simple that card is. I basically just used the paper and didn't have to do any stamping um, to make all of these daisies. I could, if I wanted to, stamp a daisy on the inside. I don't think that I did that. Oh, I did do that. That's what I put on the inside. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and we'll get our um, early espresso ink out again. I used this little, like, kind of half daisy. And then we have the top part. I was kind of wondering why I didn't have anything on the inside, but it was off to the side like this. And when I opened it, because I did these on Thursday, I don't even remember what I did. I may have to put a little piece of scrap paper here just to make sure I don't. There we go. So we've got a little daisy on the inside as well. I hardly ever leave a naked inside of a card. So when I was looked at it at first and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't do anything on the inside of this card. This was one of the first cards that I made. Okay, so that's our card number one for our gift pack that we're gonna be making. 
All right, I wanted to show you a couple of the other cards that I made. So here is one that uses um, just the paper in there and it uses the bubble bath and there's a little bit of crushed curry and garden green in there. So I just use that in a little square on the top. Again, a very simple card. This one I cased, which means I copy and shared. So this is um, Amy, I don't know how you pronounce her last name, Kanders. Um, she made this one and posted it, it was beautiful. And this is some of the paper that was on the front. It was a little um, yellow and white stripe and I just used a little piece of it right there in the corner. Okay, so those are the little pieces of paper that you can cut apart on the front of the card. I'll also show you, because we were making Mother's Day, I did take this piece and I just cut it into strips and I made a Mother's Day card to go along with the gift package that we're making. And this will kind of match the envelope that we're making. So I was gonna show you this at the end. So I used this one for one of the cards. I used this one for the Mother's Day card. This was for that other card, and then this was the card that we just made. So lots of really cool uses for those little pieces that are on that, um, that sheet of cardstock. And you get two sheets in that pack, so you get two of each of those. All right, so that's our card number one. And I'm not necessarily decorating these envelopes because these are gonna be part of a gift set. You could if you wanted to. I just decided it was probably going to be easier for me just to um, just to make the cards and not worry about the envelopes. All right, I do need to get a piece of scrap paper. All right, so there's my thing. And you cannot get this anymore. Everything for the Stamparatus I think is sold out now, sadly. All right, let's go ahead and we'll make this card next. So this is a three quarters inch strip of lemon lolly that we're gonna be using. All right, I have a strip of this designer series paper that's a half an inch by four inches. That's gonna be for inside. This is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. This is four by five and a quarter. And I need two of those. And then this is our pebbled path. And this is, I didn't even write a thing on here. This is eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. All right, and I'm gonna do, do, do. We're gonna do some stamping first. Let's start with this little strip, which is where we're gonna be doing our stamping. Um, I just wanted to stamp in the pebble path. I want to stamp our greeting, which is going to be the birthday greeting that is in there. Oh, Mary. Yeah, I, I have to say that when I first saw the catalog, this wasn't like the first suite that I wanted, but it was one that we could order early, and I'm really glad that I did because... I really have loved playing with it. Okay, so I'm just stamping our greeting. Wishing you the brightest birthday in our pebbled path. Okay, and now I'm going to take this and we're just going to kind of run this along the side. It doesn't really matter where you have it. It's just going to come across the side and we're gonna just trim the edges off there. So I want to leave a big enough area because I am going to be putting a cutout daisy up here. So I do want to leave enough room for that. But this is plenty of space that I have right now. This I think is a really easy layout. I use this layout quite often um, because it is so easy to do. Um, and you can throw a card together, and I'm gonna close this, otherwise you know me, I'm gonna end up with something inside of there. And I am going to bring in a silicone mat to put over the top of this, because I don't know if I put too much glue on there, and if I did, I don't want it on my workspace, I'd rather have it on this silicone mat, because then I can clean it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that on there. 
and then I'm just going to flip it over. Don't yell at me. I'm not using my ribbon scissors. I found my paper scissors. And I'm just going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim that off. And just like that, we have a start to our card. We are then going to layer this on one of these layers of Lemon Lolly. I love that name. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Lemon Lolly. Look at that blue with the Lemon Lolly. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? That's the um, Boho Blue, which is one of the new in colors. All right, and then that is going to go on to, I can get this out of here. See, I have a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, but a little bit of that glue is on there. Once that dries, I can just take my finger and ball it off and it'll come right off rather than having glue all over my surface. I love my silicone mat. All right, let's uh, burnish this a little bit better so it lays a little bit flatter for us. And you know what? I made a card for a virtual swap that I was in, and for the life of me, I cannot find it. I know I had it by my computer, and I was doing, I was typing up the directions in my living room. I don't know <laughs> where I put it after I finished with typing up the directions. I took a picture. It's not over where my picture station is, or my photographing station, so I have no idea what I did with it. All right, then I'm going to take this little strip and we're just going to put that around the bottom. Now because Lemon Lolly is such a light color, usually I put white on the inside of my cards to write, but I thought why not Lemon Lolly? It's something that's a little bit different and if you wanted to, you if you found a greeting that fit for whichever, whoever you were giving this to for their birthday, you could stamp that in the center. Otherwise, you can just leave that blank to write a message to the person whose birthday it is. Okay, and then through the magic of TV, <laughs> I, well, first of all, let's take this and we're going to get in some crushed curry ink here. This is that little scrap of that lemon lolly. We are going to take and stamp, whoops, that's the leaf, this big center. Okay, so that's going to be a center for a flower. And our wonderful dies with this set. So we have this die right here that has a detailed and an outline, okay, and they go together. And we have a die that will cut out that center for us. Okay, and then, like I said, through the magic of TV, I have cut out the two whites. And here is that center. All right, and I'm going to put these back, I think, on my magnet here so I do not lose them. See what I do sometimes when I'm playing around and I cut some things out that I might use, but then I don't end up using, I just end up throwing them inside of here so that they're available the next time I'm looking for something. All right. So this is just going to go in there. I don't have that lined up right. I'll come back and line it up. But I get these magnet sheets. Um, I get mine from Stampin' Storage. But you could also order um, the photo magnetic sheets um, that you can get actually at Amazon. Okay, so see how that goes right over the top of that? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add some liquid glue to that. It just gives it a little bit of dimension. I think I might need a new, oops, nope, I don't. thought I might need a new bottle of glue because I'm getting close to the end here. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And you could try to raise that up on dimensionals. I'm going to 
see where it goes again. There we go. I decided just to put it down regular. Now the card that I made for my swap, the one that I can't find, I took a little bit of a sponge dauber and I sponge daubered some of the edges because you can then pick up more of that dimension. For this one, I wanted to mimic this flower that's in here right here. So I wanted it just to stay white and not add anything to it. But what I did do was I added a little bit of Wink of Stella to the center. And then I also brushed it on, and I know you can't see Wink of Stella. If, you were, if they were here in person, you'd be able to see this Wink of Stella, but I know you can't see it at home, but it just adds a little bit of glitter to that. And I'm gonna take a dimensional, and I'm gonna pop this up on a dimensional here in the center. And then I'm gonna take dimensionals, and I'm gonna pop this whole daisy up And dimensionals as well. Okay, so that filled up that space that was there. And then I left myself a little bit more room. It looks like on the sample that I did, I had those gems that were the in color gems that I said I was going to be using in here. I pulled them out, and where did I set them? Let's see, I have another pack of them here. I have a couple packs going because I used all of the blue ones for a swap card that I did. Whoops, that's not my take your pick tool. The pebble path ones are the ones that are on the top here that are kind of hidden. And I think what I'll do is I'll just take one of these little ones and just kind of set that up there. And probably take another little one. I have to get more putty out, goodness. Didn't I just do this last week? <laughs> there we go. These are the gems that I used last week. I'm gonna see if I can, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the two corners and add some little gems there. Okay, so that is our card number two. Really simple, again, to go in this card pack that we're going to be making. Right, this card pack's gonna hold eight cards, so I've already made all these cards, so the person's gonna get two of each of the cards that I'm making. All right, card number three. is, let me get some of the stuff out of here. This one's going to be featuring just paper. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be really focusing on the paper. So this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Lots of daisies in there. Three and three eighths by four and three eighths. Thank you, Mary, and thanks, Tammy. Uh, one and seven eighths, thanks, Kay. Uh, and one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. I'm trying to catch up on comments. <laughs> five and a half by eight and a half, and I scored it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. This is a super easy layout. And then this is four by five and a quarter and a half by five and a quarter. That's just gonna go on there. All right, let me take all these little sticky notes off so I can uh, type it up afterwards. All right, we are gonna layer this. Oh, and the other thing that I have is I cut a little um, label for myself from the contour, scallops and contour, contour scallops. I don't remember what it's called. And, oh, thanks, Kelly. Yeah, I putting that little banner across there is, it's so quick and easy. It's a easy layout um, that I find if I have a greeting that's a little bit longer like that, um, 
it just comes together really fast. And if you have this, in this case, this designer paper is so busy that you just need to tone the designer paper down a little bit. Um, just by putting that across there can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this greenish or this um, pretty peacock. And garden green, I think, is mixed with that. Is At least that's what it tells me. Whoops, I'm getting off the camera here a little bit. Right, and I'm just going to attach that to the inside. Oops, that looks like I have a little bit hanging off the edge here. So we'll just snip that a little bit. And this um, paper is the copper clay. I don't know if I said that. I was giving dimensions and I was talking and I was thanking people. And <laughs> I just... Uh, Thanks for sharing, Kay. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I burnish that all good. Then I'm going to use this um, kind of like paint brushed pattern along the side. And then we're just going to set this in here like that. Okay, so I just need to put glue on the left-hand side again, kind of like we did with that other one, but instead of having a gate fold, I have a Z fold, but we still kind of have that same idea of kind of a focal image in the center, just done a little bit differently. So our first one was a gate fold, and now this one is a Z fold that pulls out. All right on this label, I'm going to take my copper clay stamp pad. Let's see if I have it here. Oh, you know what? I did not use copper clay. I used pretty peacock. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pull in that pretty peacock color that's in the leaves as well as that paper in the back. And I'm going to use that, since this has so many daisies in it, I'm going to use that oops-a-daisy, uh, um, so sorry. I thought that was so clever to use that with all of these daisies. Okay, so we've got a greeting. And now I'm going to take some of the ribbon that is part of the in color. So this is copper clay ribbon, and I think I actually cut some off for something else that I was working on. So I'm going to use this, get my ribbon scissors here. And what I'm going to do, and I've mentioned this before, I do not feel like I'm very good at this, but I'm going to attempt to just kind of weave this along the back like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, Kathy Miller taught me this. She said, just take your seal and give yourself a good strip of seal across the back. And then you just kind of play with it from there. So press it down there. And then I'm going to just leave a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop up there and press it and make a little loop-de-loop -loop here and press it and go up. That Kathy Miller, what would I do without her? She's like, Sarah, it's really not that hard. It's pretty easy. And I'm like, for some reason, I just can't do it, Kathy. She goes, here's what you do. So we're just gonna put that on there. Okay, I'm putting on some dimensionals to have that just pop a little bit. There we go. I don't know if I have that straight or not. Let me look here. Oh, 
now I pulled my ribbon off. There we go. There, now I think it's straight. Okay, so there's our oopsie daisy. And then I'm going to take some of these from the um, bundle. I'm going to take some of these copper clay gems. And we're just going to place a couple of them. Get this really tiny one. Uh, let's put that one up there. And then we'll put this bigger one on the DSP somewhere. Let's put it maybe right there. Okay, so we're just putting some of those on there just to give it a little bit of something else. Something. There we go. I think that was still not completely straight. I think that's better. All right, so that is our card number three. All right. On to card number four. Let me just pull it up on mine so that I can see what I'm doing here. All right, we'll put these aside. Um, and here is our card number four. And then after that, we still have to make our little envelope. Yes, Kathy Miller is still doing her stamping. I don't know that she's on Facebook, but she still does her stamp clubs and does that. She is um phenomenal stamper I and we are and she's a very good friend okay so this is and I, again I didn't label this one this is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and this is moody mauve and then I have two of these I marked them both four by five and a quarter and this is the bubble bath and I ran this one through the embossing folder. Now, I don't think these are back in stock yet, but they are coming back. This is part of the online exclusive, so you will not find this in any catalog, but it comes with kind of this hatch um, design. It comes with a polka dot design and one that kind of almost looks like a bunch of starfish. I think it's supposed to be floral, but I just wanted something in the background there, so I just, and I don't know how well you can see that um, embossing, but that is there. I'm using some of this daisy paper. So this measures two by five and a quarter. And then this is some of the wild wheat. So there's here's our second card with the wild wheat. Now, I did this at two and three sixteenths by five and a quarter. You could do, it depends. I wanted it Bigger than if I did it an eighth of an inch bigger, but not as big as if I did it a quarter of an inch bigger. So I used a sixteenth. I went halfway between the two. But if you don't like sixteenths, you could either do this as two and one eighth or two and one quarter, depending on how big you want between there. I just decided to use a sixteenth. I have a three eighths inch by four inch for the inside. And I also cut, this is the second largest of our um, styled shapes that is the square all right and then i need a scrap let's do our stamping first um, i'm going to bring out some moody mauve along with some bubble bath and also some wild wheat so we've got three different colors that we're going to be using on this one. Um, this is our two-step stamping. So I'm going to start with the outline, and this is the um, kind of the medium-sized um, daisy. It's the smallest full-size daisy, but then we have that half one as well that's kind of the smallest. So I'm going to stamp that twice. Then I'm still using Moody Mauve. I'm gonna take the inside and I'm gonna stamp off once. Oh, and this is always fun having to do this over a camera. All right, not too bad. So I'm gonna stamp off once. Oops, that one I didn't do as well. And then we have our little one, which I think I used in brown so I'm gonna make sure that I clean that up good with my chamois 
before I put it in my bubble bath. <laughs> we do not want brown early espresso in our bubble bath. I'm just going to put that in our center. Okay, and then we have this little leaf. I'm done with these two. Nope, I'm not done with this one. We'll keep that one out. I'm going to do three, because I like odd numbers, of these leaves. All right, and then I'm going to use our greeting. Your friendship means everything. And on this square in the Moody Mauve, I'm just going to stamp that in the lower left hand corner. Okay, I'm going to clean all of this up. And we do have dies that will cut out these flowers, so I do not have to do this fussy cutting. I just got to figure out where they go, so it goes like that. Um, and if you wonder how did I do that so fast, um, I did a lot of these the other day, and you're looking for this one that's kind of um, pointed, is what I looked for. And then we also have a die that will cut those out. But through the magic of TV, as you know, I have one, two, and I think there's another leaf in here, and our daisy cut out. So I will use these for another card. So I will set that aside so that I can cut those out later. And now it's time to put this card together, and then we will make our envelope to be able to give all of these away in a little gift set. All right. I think I have all the little post-it notes now. Okay, we'll set those on there. I have them all mixed up now, so it's going to be a crapshoot kind of. I kind of remember the dimensions on this these, so that's good. Because <laughs> it, it's going to, I'm going to have to type all of them up yet and take pictures. I haven't done that yet. I should have done it after I got home from that track meet last night, but I still had to make the envelope. So I talked to my mom and I, she's like, do you have your cards done? I'm like, yep, the four cards are done, but I don't have the, what to put them in yet. And I kind of had an idea. I had done this many, many years ago, several years ago, and I just had to try to find the dimensions. All right, so that's going to be our inside. And again, I didn't do white. I did bubble bath because it's such a soft um, color. Um, you can easily write on here and be able to see it. So it doesn't. your inside doesn't always have to be white or vanilla. If you have like, um, well, what I used to use Sahara sand, sometimes crumb cake, anything that's a little bit softer, um, you can... Um, you can use as your inside. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to this little strip that's 3 16 bigger <laughs> than it looks like I have a little bit hanging off the edge here. Right, and then I'm going to attach that just along the side here. I don't know if there's a right way or a wrong way. I think I'm going to do it this way because I want that bigger daisy up on the top. And the card that I made for the swap, the one I can't find. Um, oh, thank you, Sandy. Um, the one that I can't find that I made for that virtual swap, I um, I used this paper and it was a fun fold. I kind of folded over the top and had a daisy, um, uh, or a couple of daisies, I can't even remember. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think I have to trim anything off. Okay, and then this is just going to go to the front of our card like so. All 
All right, then this is gonna come on here. Now, because I've got two layers here and it's just this one layer here, um, what I decided I wanted to do was I wanted to put dimensionals on the left side, but I didn't put anything on the right side. Um, I just found that it looked kind of lopsided when I tried putting dimensionals over there. So what I did was I put dimensionals here and then I ran them right along where this was going to meet so it was up to the edge. I just want to get this straight. Okay, so that's how that goes on there. And then our daisies are just going to come up here. And we're going to tuck some of these in after we get those. When I do flower images and I have little leaves, what I normally do is I put my floral images on. And then after they're on, I tuck the leaves where it looks like they need them. Okay, so I'm going to put this one kind of up there. I'm just putting um, some dimensionals on here. I just realized I was off camera. I'm going to put that one down there. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of this. And you can even, if you want, kind of use your fingers to kind of Loosen that up a little bit. And I'm going to stick that one up like that. And we'll stick that one in there. Like that to kind of fill that white space there. And then Got one more because I like odd numbers. I'm going to stick this one down here. Oops. Got a little bit of glue on my finger. <laughs> All right, so there is that. Now I am going to take a little bit of Wink Estella and do the center of these flowers. And then um, I wanted to again use those in colors. And so these are the Moody Mauve ones. And so I'm just going to take a couple of those and we'll take one of these. Maybe I'll do one of each size. So we'll do that. We'll put a little one up there. And then kind of this medium size one kind of tucked in there just to give that a little bit of fun there. All right, so that is our card four. And that is what we're going to put inside. Now, what I have done is I have made, so I did make these. So this actually, this pack, is going to have a total of eight cards in it. Okay, so it's going to have two of each of these. You could make eight completely different ones if you wanted to. I just thought, oh, this works. So I want to grab the envelope. So I've got one, two, three, four envelopes. And I've got these four cards. Now you can decide if you want to put the same one on the top. There's going to be two sides. It's going to be like a little envelope you're making. Um, and then I got to grab these envelopes and the one that I made already as a sample. One, two, three, four. We could put something different on the top of that one so it looks like you've got different ones. So these are going to go on either side inside of a little folder that's going to hold them. So let's take a look at how we're going to make that folder. Let me get some of this out of the way. Because, ooh, I do not want to lose this. Put that in my dies here. There we go. All right, 
So I'm going to bring my trimmer in so you can see how I did this. All you need is one sheet of paper. So I decided I wanted to use the boho blue. Okay, so this is eight and a half by 11. And on the 11 inch side, we're gonna score at five and six inches. And on the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score at six and six and a half inches. And again, I'll have these dimensions for you on once I get a chance to post it, and then I will post it on my blog as well. Just so you know, on my blog where I put the little pictures of the images with the, the number of ordering them, I can't do that today when I do it because I can't post any pictures of the products that are new yet. Um, I'll be able to do that after Tuesday, so I'll go back in and I'll add that on Tuesday, so it won't be in there today if you're looking for the product that I'm using. So five and six on the 11 inch side. And then six and six and a half. Okay, that's all it takes. Super easy. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut up, make sure I have my paper one, we're going to cut up to the second score line on these two lines that we scored at five and six inches. So I'm going to cut all the way up to that second score line and all the way up to that second score line. I don't know if you can see those score lines and then I'm going to cut that little section off. Okay, so I'm cutting that whole part off. Then, just to add a little bit of something different, um, you could do a couple of things. You could go ahead and you could, this is what I did with mine, I just went ahead and cut from here to the first score line and cut a little bit off from here to the first score line. You could use our banner punch and you could just banner punch that if you wanted to as well. I just did it with my own scissors, all right? We're gonna fold this in, give these a good burnish. Let's bring out my bone folder here. So see how I'm making just like a little pocket sort of for this? This is gonna go up. I did the two score lines so that we had enough space in there to fit our four cards and envelopes on each side. All right, and now I'm gonna decorate the front and show you how I decorated the front, I should say. I did it super, super easy. I didn't want to do, I'm going to let the paper do all the work. So I'm using this paper from the set. This is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then this is some of the copper clay because that's the color in there. This is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, this is four by five and a quarter. Okay, so this is just going to layer on there, and then that's just going to layer on there. Isn't that pretty together? That white and the copper clay and that boho blue. Oh, so pretty. All right, I have a scrap of white that I'm going to bring in some boho blue ink. And this greeting that I have is actually from a set that's going to be retiring. It's from the Daffodil set. It just says Happy Mother's Day. Because I said we were gonna make a little possible Mother's Day gift, and so I decided to make it Mother's Day. I have like little dimensionals that are sticking to things. I don't know if it's the same one that keeps sticking or if it's different. All right, and then I'm gonna take, this is my double oval punch, and I'm going to punch out 
the scalloped one in copper clay. And I'm going to stamp out the Happy Mother's Day in the oval. Let's see if I can get it straight here without getting my head in the camera. Okay. Easy enough, right? Again, this paper is so busy that all you really do need is a greeting and some sort of a label. Um, if you wanted to put a little ribbon on, but I'll show you what we're going to do with the ribbon. Um, so I didn't even really need to put um, any ribbon on the greeting. So I'm going to go ahead and... Attach that. Yeah, Kelly, I do. I love the Moody Mauve and the Bubble Bath together as well. In fact, the card that I made had the two colors together, the one that I can't find, um, had those two colors together. I'm trying to think if I gave it to someone, but I don't think I did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, okay, did I give that to somebody as a sample? And I'm like, maybe I did. I did send a couple of... I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, this is going to go in here. It was a, I think I made it a thinking of you, or did I make it a birthday? I can't even remember. I've made so many cards in the last week because I was in a whole bunch of swaps um, with the pre-order, and they were all due by either Friday or today. Um, I think this one I'm going to put up here because there's more of an opening up there. So I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to show you the one that I made um, last night. I ended up putting in the lower left-hand corner because I didn't have any daisies down there. But now it looks like I have more of an opening right here. So I'm going to put that right here. All right. And then we have our gems here. And I have a take your pick tool here, and we'll just throw a couple of those around. I like to, I really like tiny gems, <laughs> but if I use those all the time and I don't mix them up and make them different um, sizes, then I end up with a whole pack of, and these look like they're in the same line, so let's move this one up here. Um, I end up with all big ones left at the end. So I, I kind of have to challenge myself to use um, all the sizes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to center that on here. Now there's a reason that there's a space on either side because we are going to add ribbon to this. And the ribbon is going to hold our cards in place and it's also going to tie the whole thing together. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's put our holes in first. Let's put our holes in first. I'm going to do this a little different than I did it last night. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, you can use any hole punch. I still have my crocodile. still love this thing. All right. I've got two different size punches. I think I'm going to use the smaller size. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on the front here and I'm just going to eyeball. Now, if you don't think you can eyeball it, you could always measure it. Um, so this is six inches. So you would be looking for three inches. And you want to go in a little bit because you don't want it too close to the edge because you don't want it to tear. But you also don't want it to go too far in. So that's why I put mine on there last night so that I knew how far I could go in. But I think I know how far I can go in. So I'm going to use the smaller of the two. And I, this is, has to go down a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that, I couldn't go far enough in. Let's see, am I centered? I think I am. I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so there's my one punch. Whoops, and I already messed up, but that's okay. I can hold this together. <laughs> you wanted to punch through both of them at the same place. So I'm gonna just hold this together. You wanna make sure you have the two edges in there together. Okay, so my corners line up. And my corners line up. Let's 
Okay, so there we go. So that one's a little bit off, but that's okay. I tried to do it as best I could. Forgot to line those up. All right, I'm going to bring in one of these um, piercing mats. Because I don't have a punch that can punch a hole in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool, and I have the pokey end in right now, and I'm basically just going to run my pokey tool kind of across, and when I get close to where that score line is, I'm just going to poke it in and I'm just going to kind of make a hole with it. Okay, see how I did that? And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to kind of run it across and stick it in and I made a hole there. Okay, so I'm just making my own holes and they're all kind of together. Right, this doesn't have any glue in it because our ribbon is what's going to hold everything together. Okay, now that I have that done, let's go ahead and put this on the front. Oops, so this is gonna go like that. I don't think I need any dimensionals on it because I put the greeting on dimensionals. So the only thing that this would have been good for is to make sure that you didn't go too far, but I didn't. I, <laughs> I was good. I still fit inside of here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I decided, now if I was going to use a thicker ribbon, so that's why I had that copper clay piece that was cut, because I first tried this with that, and I'm like, mm, nope, don't like that. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to start by going inside okay this string right here this ribbon is going to hold your cards in place when you put your cards in there right then this is going to be strung through here and if you have a hard time stringing it through there you could always use your pokey tool again and poke it through um, the other thing that works really good are um, dental flossers, you know, those little things that have a loop and you can just kind of stick that through. And then I'm going to come and put this through here again. Okay, so if I'm having a hard time sticking it in, I can get it started and just take my pokey tool and push that in and grab it. You could also use a tweezers if you don't have a pokey tool. Okay, so I'm just wanting to keep that straight. I don't want it all twisted. And I am going to have to pull a little bit more because I am going to want a bow when I'm done. And then I'm going to put this through here. Okay, and again, I'm keeping it straight. All right, so now I need my cards. So I had one, two, three, four, along with the envelopes, and I'm gonna pop those in there, and then pull this nice and tight. And I'm gonna pop these in this side. See how that ribbon's kinda of gonna be holding them in place. And then I'm gonna fold it in half. Oops like so. So I've got eight cards in there. And then I'm going to tie this in a bow. Now you want to pull it tight enough to hold it closed, but you don't want to pull it too tight that you end up ripping your hole. Now if you still have the old um, uh, kind of like the rivets or whatever, if you wanted to use your uh, Cropodile, that's what I had the Cropodile for, was to be able to put those in. You could go ahead and do that, but I'm going to just go ahead, tie a bow on live TV. And now I am going to keep, I'm going to pull these a little bit smaller, but I am going to keep my tails just a little bit longer so that you could open it up again and you could close it and find it pretty easy to, to tie that bow. Okay, so there's our bow tying it together. 
there is the front of it that gives us our little greeting. And when they untie it and open it up, there are all of their cards as a little gift. Okay, eight cards and envelopes fit in this folder the way it is. And we just can tie it right back up again and have it ready to go out. Okay, so I left my ribbon long enough so that I could untie it and tie it back up again if I wanted to. Okay, super, super easy, right? Just one sheet of paper, decorate the front a little bit, and right there, and you don't have to make cards that match. So all of these happen to be daisies because I'm thinking it's Mother's Day and I wanna do something that kinda of matchy matches. But if you have to, let's say you want to give somebody a thank you gift, if they did something nice for you, you want to just throw something on their desk at work, or you want to um, give it to, a, let's say, uh, at Christmas time, you've got like your mail carrier, those types of people. It's really easy to just make one of these pockets. We all have, I know I have, a ton of cards that I could just pull together and throw eight of them in there. And what a nice gift is that, right? Oh! Just love that, and I don't even remember. It might have been way back in the day. I'm trying to think if it was Karen Titus that did this like maybe three or four years ago that I saw it for the very first time, um, and I just thought, super easy. I had to go back and try to um, find my notes on how to do it, but when I found my notes, it was like, oh yeah, that's right. This was super, super easy. All right, let me come back to you. And here I am. Oh, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you liked all of those cards, a little sneak peek into our daisies. Um, I am going to be having a May ordering um, special where if you place an order from me that's $50 or more in the month of May, you will get a tutorial um, that has 10 different cards, so different than the ones that I have here, that have all the dimensions um, of how to make 10 different cards using this, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Daisies. Where's my stamp set now? Oh, here it is. Cheerful Daisies. Yes, it's cheerful. Okay, so that'll be in the month of May, and I will be posting that on my Facebook page so that you have an idea um, of what that is and what that all entails. And so it'll just be a digital PDF that'll be emailed to you. Um, and um, you will have all the dimensions along with pictures of how to put the cards together. So um, it's kind of a fun way for me to say thank you for placing an order and um, also just love this little bundle and I think it's so fun to play with that. So I will be live again next week at um, 8.30. And I will hopefully have my stream working so that you can find me easier than today. Thank you for sticking with me and trying to figure out where I was going to be. <laughs> I'm going to have to try to figure out how to set my stream up so that it actually works again. And, um, uh, yep, Melanie, you won Melanie too. I'm going to be sending you a gift. You were my winner for sharing. So I'm glad you popped on here. All right, so I hope that you have a great Saturday. It's kind of dreary and cold here, so I'm planning to label all of price, all of my stuff that I'm going to be selling in my used stamp sale um, and kind of put together some little packets of ribbon and all that kind of stuff so I can get it out of my stamp room so that on Tuesday when I order new stuff, I have room to bring new stuff in without it being chaotic. So my goal is to get everything priced today. But first I'm going to run to the post office and I'll get the prizes out in the mail along with all of those catalogs that were requested. So again, if you want a catalog, you don't have one, don't put it here because I will likely not see it. Um, I, I'll see it, but I might not see it as fast. Either send me a private message in Facebook or send me an email at createwithsarahllc at gmail.com. So you guys have a great weekend. It was wonderful spending time with you. And again, thank you for sticking with me and finding me. 